Hello there folks, Cranky Old Cooper here. I have a uh, kit unboxing. Actually, there are three kits in this unboxing. They're all from Lee Hart, who has a number of kits available. And uh, I will put a link to his site in the description of this video, so you can go look them up if you want. And uh, these are pretty cool kits. I'll uh, get started with this first one here. Now I have opened this previously just to make sure that everything was in here so that I could uh, complain to Lee in a timely manner if anything was missing. And it did come in a Ziploc, so all this stuff was not loose in the envelope, but I pulled it out of the Ziploc and I didn't feel like putting it back in. So this is the 6502 badge, okay? And this is the 40th anniversary badge. So the 6502 processor was introduced in 1977. Uh, the Let's see, Apple II, the Commodore PET, uh, the Atari 2600, what do they call it, VCS, video computer system or something like that. In any case, the Atari 2600 game console all had 6502s or uh, offshoots of 6502s in them, okay? And so for the Vintage Computer Festival, they had a 40th anniversary uh, celebration and Lee made these kits. And so what you got here, as we have a round PCB uh, on the front, it says happy 40th birthday, Apple II, Atari VCS, and Commodore PET. On the back, it's got VCF 40th anniversary 6502 on it. So this is a pretty neat looking PCB and I'll be looking forward to building this. So let's get into the rest of the kit. So we have our 6502 processor here. And then we have our uh, basic ROM, okay? So that's got uh, some version of basic. It looks like a fairly early one. And then of course we have the PCB, but I already showed you that. PCB stands for printed circuit board in case you didn't know. So it looks like we have a tube of logic chips here. So these are, these are your 7400 series logic, which is kind of the normal logic chips you'd get. Like you have two choices, kind of. You have the 7400 and you have the uh, 4000 series CMOS. And now there's CMOS 7400 series as well and everything. But And I'm not sure what this chip is, although I think it might be a RAM chip. Just looking at the board, it looks like we got a RAM that goes here maybe. Anyway, we'll figure it out when we do the build. And I will record the build so we can find out all that stuff. And he hopefully included a battery box and some batteries. Awfully nice. And we have some various components. It looks like there's a couple of diodes and some resistors and capacitors in here. So got that going on. Ah, yes. We've got a clip for the badge so you can wear the badge. And we have a socket for probably the ROM. Yeah, it looks like a, there's a socket for the ROM. And then we have the uh, LED readout. I think the display will just say 6502 badge for VCF on it. So when we get it built, we'll see what happens. And of course, he's packaged up instructions here for building it. And this is the deluxe kit, so it has 32K of RAM in it. Anyway, this seems like it's going to be a pretty nice kit, and I'm super excited to be putting it together. I might actually even do that today, so we'll see what happens. So let's move on to the next kit. Okay, so he has a couple of other kits that I bought that uh, uh, he calls uh, membership card microcomputers. And there's two different versions of them that I have here, one with one processor and one with a different processor. So let's go ahead and get into this box and see what we got. So we got two Ziploc bags full of stuff. All right, so this is the Z80 membership card microcomputer kit okay let's get it out of here and see what we got okay well looks like a couple of pcbs fell out so this looks like yeah this is the z80 membership card and i have a bunch of stuff in here got an altoids 10. the cool thing about this i'll show you is these boards are built to fit inside an altoids 10 and that's kind of a thing that's kind of a thing that people do. Uh, I don't know why, but lots of people, like there's an Arduino that fits in an Altoids 10 that people use. And so that's kind of cool. And there might be like a beagle bone or something. All right, so what else do we have? Well, here's the important bits. We have a Z80 chip. Looks like it was manufactured in, no, 2017. So yeah, they're still making these things, okay? We have a RAM, I'm pretty sure that's a RAM chip. 
And then we have a ROM here, which contains the software that this thing is going to run. Okay. And this is probably an EEPROM. That would be my guess. EEPROM stands for electrically erasable programmable read only memory. So now you can put that in your vocabulary there. All right. Then we have, let's see what we got here. Then we have various logic chips. Uh, looks like most of these are going to be 74 series, although I thought I saw a 4000 series in here, but I could be incorrect. And then we have the two aforementioned uh, printed circuit boards. These look like pretty decent quality printed circuit boards. Should be fun to solder. And then we have our Altoids tin, which is full of stuff. Okay. So it looks like this is a two board kit. Yeah, yeah, there's just two boards in there. One of them uh, is uh, going to have the Z80 CPU on it, and that'll probably have the RAM and the ROM, maybe. Not sure. And so we have a bunch of resistors in here. It looks like we have a voltage regulator. Yeah, I think that's a voltage regulator. I can't read it. I need my bifocals, and I can't see it at that distance, so that's fine. And then we have our front panel pack, which is for the other PCB. So... This has a bunch of switches and it's got a display and a bunch of stuff. So this should be fun to build to you. All right. So what's the deal with this thing, right? Well, it's basically a microcomputer that fits inside an Altoids 10. That's kind of cool. Like you can build a fully functional, probably run, for all I know, it runs CPM. I don't know. CPM is an operating system, by the way. Okay, this is funny. We got some documentation here, but uh, the cover letter is from Gil Bates, who is the emperor of marketing at Itty Bitty Micro Company. And it looks like it's to uh, somebody named Wiz. I'm guessing that's probably a play on Waz. Uh, also CC'd to Chip Hacker, Hardware Herder, and Crash Kernigan, Codemeister. Ah, yes, Wiz Wireman, Solder King, and Trace Weaver, PCB Artiste. So this is kind of cute. Also note, it's printed on green bar. This is actual green bar paper. People used to print stuff on this all the time. I used to collect this up in the uh, machine room and put it into the slots for people to come pick up their program listings. So kind of cool. We have a nice little Z80 computing, looks like magazine sort of thing. And it's got a bunch of articles in it and stuff. This looks really cool. And it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Oh, including some ads very nice and then it looks like we have some more green broad printout of a crash course in computing okay uh let's see on the z80 membership card by crash kernigan okay so this looks like it should be fun and i believe this just has the tech specs and how to use the thing in there so that should be a fun kit to put together really looking forward to it that i might build this one today too these these are not super difficult kits to put together. They're not like uh, like the Altair Arduino was a lot more involved, but it also has a lot more stuff. So, okay, well, we can put this guy away and we'll get into the next one. So this is a similar kit, only it's for the 1802 processor. Now the 1802 processor is one that is a little more obscure to me. I don't know anything about it really. I just thought it sounded cool and I liked this kit. So I went ahead and decided to get the kit. If you back up to the Z80, the Z80 is used in computers you've probably heard of, maybe. Uh, Tandy, Radio Shack, the TRS-80 Model 1 through 4 all used Z80s. And there was an Osborne computer and a K-Pro computer that used it. And among, like, a whole bunch. The Heathkit H89 kit computer also used a Z80. But this is an 1802. And the 1802 processor was used in the Cosmac Elf. Okay. It was published in Popular Electronics, and you could, you know, buy the parts and build one of these. So this is basically like that, only it fits in an Altoids 10, which, you know, as I mentioned earlier, is kind of a cute thing that people do. So let's start taking a look at this, okay? What do we have? Well, I think we got PCBs here. So we've got three uh, PCBs. So the last kit had two, this one has three. Looks like we have a front panel, and we have a some kind of communications board. And then here we have, I think, the main board for the CPU and all of its uh, associated chips and everything, okay? All right, so 
Here's our CPU. This is an 1802 CPU, and I'm pretty sure this is probably, uh, that's either a RAM or a ROM, and I'm not sure, but I think that's a RAM chip. But uh, we won't know for sure until we actually get into it and start building it. And then here we have a bunch of logic chips. These are probably mostly 7400 series, although there might be others in there. There might be some CMOS in there, but again, won't know till I build it. And then we have the Altoids 10 full of stuff. And the Altoids 10 has a bunch of stuff in it. Like we've got sockets, we've got uh, transistors. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of transistors in here. So these are transistors. Um, they look like that. I don't know which ones these are, but they're labeled Q3, Q4, and Q6. So that's good. What else do we have in here? Oh, well, there's a transistor. Not sure which one that is. And looks like we have, ah, Q5. Q5 and Q7, so that's nice. And then we've got some sockets and we've got some headers and a bunch of resistors. Oh yeah, look, switches. So this thing's gonna have a front panel too. Pretty cool. All right, well, that's pretty much that kit. So I'm looking forward to building these. Um, Again, I really love the smell of solder and I like building things. And I always wanted to do this a lot when I was a kid and couldn't afford to. So uh, super happy to be able to do this. So let's take a look inside the 1802 membership cards uh, pamphlet here. Well, it looks like there's a whole bunch of information and it looks like we've got some specifications on a parts list and then how to put it together. Yeah, look at that. A lot of stuff in here. So this is really well thought out. And then on the back we have uh, a bunch of stuff that you can print out and put in the uh, membership card so that you know what everything is. So you can you know, program it or mess with it and everything. So looks fun. Oh, we got instructions and everything. That's really cool. All right. So yeah, we got the 1802 membership card. Uh, we've got the Z80 membership card, and I'll just pull the board out here, and we've got our 6502 badge. So I think I'm going to have a lot of fun coming up. Anyway, that is the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. We will catch you at the next video. Cheers.